Our second panel of witnesses come forward. On our second panel, we have Mr. Stuart Parnell, who is president of Peanut Corporation of America, and Mr. Sammy Lightsley, plant manager of, at Peanut Corporation of America, Blakely, Georgia facility. We have that door shut back there, please. All right, it's the policy of the subcommittee to take all testimony under oath. Please be advised, gentlemen, that witnesses have the right under the rules of the House to be advised by counsel during their testimony. Do you wish to be represented or advised by counsel? Mr. Lightsley? No. Mr. Parnell? Okay, I ask you to state the name of your counsel then who will be advising you. Counsel cannot testify but can advise you and before you answer a question, if you want to consult with them before you answer it, you're allowed to underneath the rules of the house. So who would your counsel be, sir? Bill, Mike, Mike. turn your mic on there. There's, there's, the button should go on there a little. Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly, okay. And Mr. O'Reilly, you're right here then, right? Okay. Mr. Lightsley. Hey, hit your mic. Right there, a little button there. Okay, Mr. O'Reilly, going to be your counsel too? No, Jim Parkman. Jim? Parkman. Parkman, okay. Mr. Parkman, raise your hand just so we know who you are. Okay, very good. Same, same applies to you if you want, before you answer any questions, you want to consult with your counsel, you're right to do so. Okay. All right, so I'm going to ask you both to rise and raise your right hand and take the oath. You swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give to be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but truth, matter pending before the subcommittee. Let the record reflect the witnesses replied in the affirmative. You are now under oath. You will have five minutes for an opening statement, or you may submit a longer statement for inclusion in the hearing record. Uh, Mr. Lightsley, do you have an opening statement? No, I do not. Mr. Parnell? Yes, sir. Okay. Then we're going to go to write the questions, and uh, members have five minutes for questions. And I'll begin. Mr. Parnell, I want to ask you about an email you sent to your employees at the Peanut Corporation on January 12, 2009, after public health officials found salmonella and peanut butter from your plant in Georgia. Right in front of you right there is our binder tab. It's tab number 44 if you care to look at it. In particular, I want to ask you about the following statement you made in that email. You said, we do not believe the salmonella came from our facility. As you probably know, we send hourly PB samples to an independent lab to test for salmonella during production of peanut butter, and we have never found any salmonella at all. Mr. Parnell, during its investigation, FDA found on 12 separate occasions between June 2007 and September 2008, peanut products produced by PCA and tested by private labs were found to be contained, contaminated with salmonella. On six of these occasions, the FDA found that you had already shipped the product and that you conducted no subsequent testing. So your statement that, quote, you never found any salmonella at all, end of quote, does not appear to be true. So here's my question, and I remind you you're under oath. Mr. Parnell, did you or any officials at the Peanut Corporation of America ever place food products into the interstate commerce that you knew to be contaminated with salmonella? Uh, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, on the advice of my counsel, I respectfully decline to answer your question based on the protection afforded me under the uh, United States Constitution. Okay, Mr. Parnell, let me ask you this. In, in the last panel, and, and you heard the last panel testify, did you not? Uh, same, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, on the advice of my counsel, I respectfully decline to answer your question based on the protection afforded me under the United States Constitution. Okay, I just asked you if you heard the other panel. Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, on the advice of my counsel, I respectfully decline to answer your question based on the protection afforded me under the United States Constitution. 
Okay, well then let me ask you this question then, Mr. Parnell. Uh, dear panel, we talked a little bit about money and, and some of the emails and statements uh, attributed to you uh, about the cost of business, how not moving product was hurting you, uh, hurting your business. And um, that actually you deal with salmonella, again from the emails, once a week. So, so the food poisoning of people, is that just a cost of doing business for your company? Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, on the advice of my counsel, I respect respectfully decline to answer your question based on the protection afforded me under the United States Constitution. Uh, Mr. Walden, I, I believe you had a question you had alluded to earlier. Would you like to ask that question? I would, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Parnell, Mr. Uh, Lightsey, let me just cut to the chase then. In this container are products that have your ingredients in them, some of which were on the recall list, some of which are probably contaminated. It seems like from what we've read, you were willing to send out that peanut base went into these ingredients. And I just wonder, would you, would you be willing to take the lid off and eat any of these products now? Like the people who on the panel ahead of you, their relatives, their loved ones did? Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, on the advice of my counsel, I respectfully decline to answer your question based on the protection afforded me under the United States Constitution. Mr. Lightsey? At this time, on advice of counsel, I uh, exercise my rights, Fifth Amendment of the Constitution. Mr. Parnell, is it your intent to refuse to answer all of our questions today based on your right against self-incrimination forwarded against you, forwarded to you under the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution? Yes. Mr. Lightsey, is it your intention to refuse to answer all our questions today based on the right against self-incrimination afforded to you under the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution? Yes. All right, then I have no choice but to uh, both of you are dismissed at this time. You're subject to the right of the subcommittee to recall you at a later time and date if necessary. Yes. You're dismissed.